Hey, I know this hat looks kind of funny. We're not gonna talk about it. My hair looks kind of crazy right now. We're in quarantine, we're social distancing. I try to cut my hair, but personally, it doesn't look the greatest. But today's video, I'm unboxing the Canon G7X Mark II. Now this is the video creator kit, as you can see right here, right at the top. Pick this up from Best Buy. You can find the G7X Mark II bundles on Amazon for a little bit cheaper. I personally got this from Best Buy just because I trust Best Buy a little bit more. Um, Amazon, sometimes you might get some open box stuff and I really just wanted to make sure that I'm getting a factory fresh camera because I don't want to run into any issues and this camera's like 600 bucks. So honestly, really wanted to make sure I was getting the best of the best. My go-to camera, what I've been using for YouTube for the past couple years is the Canon C3i Rebel. A uh, really good camera, but one thing that I ran into with this is the autofocus isn't great. But one thing about the Mark II is it's very, very good and well-known for its autofocus. And it's a super popular camera among a lot of YouTubers. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna link those Amazon links down below if you wanna get it from Amazon. And I will also leave the Best Buy link as well. So if you wanna go with Best Buy, you can pick up the Video Creator Kit. Like I said, it's a little bit more expensive than what you're gonna find on Amazon, but if you don't really care and you trust Amazon, you're like, it's cool, pick it up from Amazon, um, that'll be down below. So now it's time for the moment of truth. We're gonna get straight into some boxing. We're gonna open it up just like that. You know, we're gonna take the box, open it slightly, wait, wait a second. So we're gonna take out the most important thing, which is the camera itself. So inside of the box, obviously you get a Canon G7X Mark II. I would hope so. So three other things that Canon gives you, they give you an extra battery, which is awesome because you, you're probably gonna need this. You give you an SD card, so this is a 32 gigabyte card, SanDisk, and you also get a mini tripod. All right, so we're gonna open up the G7X Mark II. Pretty much we're gonna open it up, see what's inside. On the top, you just have your standard limited warranty. Don't care about that. We have the instruction manual. Clearly don't care about that. So I think this is the camera right here. Take it out the package. So there you have it. Here's the Canon G7X Mark II, fresh out of the box. It has a nice weight to it overall. I didn't really expect it to be as heavy as it is, but it feels like it's really, really well built. But you know, with Canon, I expect that. Canon is a very good company. I like Canon cameras overall. I haven't been sponsored or paid to say that, but yeah, man. So this is all you really get in the box. Um, I think there's another battery down here. There should be at least. Um, okay, so yep. You also have a charger. So this is a charger, um, wall charger. And then I think this is like a, I don't know what this is. I think this is a transfer cable possibly. Oh no, this is the small wristlet, like wristband um, that you can put on your camera to kind of hold it around your wrist when you're walking around. And here is your second battery. So this is the primary battery that it comes with. So we have the G7X Mark II out of the box. And one really cool thing about this camera is the back screen. So this entire screen right here is a touch screen, which is lit, it's wonderful. Um, I usually use my iPhone XR, which I'm recording on right now, and the front facing camera, which I'm also recording on right now to vlog. But with this camera, this screen, this touch screen actually flips all the way up. Look at that. Look at that. So pretty much what you can do instead of using like what I use now, my iPhone and just using that front facing camera. And you pretty much look at yourself at the top screen as you record, which is awesome. And this is why this has been a go to camera for a lot of YouTubers. I've seen a lot, a lot of YouTubers use this. And that's partially why um, I wanted this camera, because I was like, OK, the quality is really good. And I saw their quality and I was like, I want some quality like that. And plus that flip up screen. I think that's that's a super, super dope addition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put the battery in this camera and I'm going to do a quick side by side comparison with my iPhone X. So that's what I'm recording on right now versus the G7X. Um, and one thing I'm really expecting with this is to have a lot more just crispiness. I want it to look a lot more crispy and I know it's going to look a lot more crispy. And also with this camera it has a really, really good depth of field. So right now you see that my entire, like all of my surroundings, it's just, it's all just kind of like flat. There's no blurry background. But one thing that this camera does really well is um, it has really, really great autofocus, which is another reason why I bought this camera um, as compared to the T3i, which has trash autofocus. Um, so with this one, I'm expecting to get some really, really good blurred backgrounds. All right, so I don't know if y'all are seeing this. Oh my gosh, I look so saucy, bro. So on the left, you're seeing my iPhone XR. On the right, you are seeing the Canon G7X and honestly, honestly, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. Even the autofocus, let's try moving this back and forth. So, so it, it stays focused on my face pretty well. Like it doesn't seem like it really needs all that much time to adjust moving closer and then moving back. Yeah, this quality, quality, yeah, no, not even, not even matching it. Not even matching. I'm right by a window right now. So you can see the brightness on the iPhone. You can see the brightness on the G7X. Um, hands down, this is, 
I look like a real YouTuber. But that is my quick unboxing of the G7X Mark II. This is gonna be my main camera. So pretty much when I'm vlogging, when I'm doing anything, I'm not gonna be using this XR anymore. So the XR is good, the quality is good, you know, it still works, but the G7X just has that like crispiness that you can't really match with an iPhone. So that's gonna be my go-to filming camera for just my standard videos or my vlogs, you know? So that's, that's, that's what I'm using. Um, I may use the iPhone XR from time to time, like if I don't have the G7X with me. Um, but if you like that video, you found it helpful, leave a like, um, leave a comment down below. And if you have a G7X now, let me know what your experience with the G7X has been. I know the Mark III is out as well, uh, the G7X Mark III, and I know a lot of people are probably gonna ask me why I went with the Mark II instead of the Mark III. And my main reason for doing that was because I, I did a lot of research before getting this camera. You know, before I drop a lot of money on any sort of like filming equipment or whatever the case is, I always do my research. And from what I've read, um, the Mark II has a lot better autofocus than the Mark III does. The Mark III has had um, some issues in terms of autofocus. I know a lot of people complained about it not being super, uh, super responsive when they needed to focus on their face or focus on other items and things of that sort. So that's why I went with the Mark II over the Mark III. Granted, I think they're both great cameras, but personally, um, I'd go for the Mark II. Anyways, I'm out.